Hello, I'm Archbishop Julian Porteous from Hobart in Tasmania. The Palavra Viva community in um, Tasmania has asked me to answer a question. Uh, it's a very important question for each one of us. And the question is, does God love me for who I am? This raises a very basic question about the way in which God sees each one of us. Perhaps to begin to answer that question, we just think for a moment, each one of us are remarkably unique. Each one of us are completely different from the others around us. Yet we haven't been mass produced. When God created each one of us, there's something distinctive and unique about us. I think what is very important is what the church teaches about each individual person. And that is, it says that God creates the soul individually. So may we may come as a result of our parents, the backgrounds, the DNA of our parents and so on. But two teaches that even though we are the product particularly of, of two people and their, their particular contribution to us, the soul, the eternal dimension of ourselves is also unique. And this reminds us that God has in fact created each one of us distinctly, uniquely. So God sees us not just as part of the massive community of, of, of humanity, but God sees each one of us individually, personally. I think the second consideration in answering this question is to be aware of the fact that when we are baptised, we become sons and daughters of God. God gives us the gift of his Holy Spirit. We have divine life in us. And then that changes our relationship with God. And Jesus taught many, many times in many, many different ways. He said, you've got to see God as your father, Abba, Dad your personal father. Because he wanted to emphasize the fact that God is not just running a, a gigantic universe and we are just one among millions, but God the Father loves each one of us individually as his personal son and daughter and invites us into a living relationship with him and he wants us to join with him for eternity. Does God love us? absolutely in the way he's created us and particularly in the way he's drawn us into his life when we were baptized. May God bless you and keep you always. Amen.